IT. Uh, something's wrong with my computer. Have you tried turning it off and on again? No, 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 oh dear. As someone who works in IT support, it's often the first thing that I say to someone when they ring me up with a problem. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Or have you tried restarting? It's usually the one thing that angers people. Oh, well, I've got all my work open in the background. Well, I've got all the emails that I need to reply to open. They will do almost anything to avoid having to restart their computer. Most bugs or freezes on a computer are caused by a hanging program or process. This is simply where a program isn't responding how it should be and it gets stuck. When you restart your computer, the memory, or RAM, is completely erased and started from fresh. This means that all the programs that are loaded are therefore in a working or running state, as long as there isn't another issue behind the problem. This means that all of the hanging programs are cleared from memory. Yes, you can try to use Task Manager to find which process is causing the problem, but often it's a lot quicker to just restart your computer. There are many, many tasks that run on a computer, especially when it's running Windows or Mac OS. Sometimes, if your program has just a small error, it will find a way around and continue working, but often this is not the case. And even if it is the case, you might find that there's problems further down the line when another program tries to use the same bit of memory. Many processes expect a resource to be present in memory. When it's not, it gets confused and can hang. This is often what causes the page fault in non-page area blue screen of death. So when you reboot your computer, Windows or Mac OS or Linux reruns all of its code from the beginning in hopefully a working state. This way everything should work as expected. It's a bit like when your cake batter goes so wrong that you just give up, throw it in the bin and start again. Also, some programs can fail and cause what's known as an infinite loop. This is where the program gets stuck doing the same thing over and over again and hogs a lot of CPU time. This therefore causes the computer to slow down and you can experience delays in typing or programs that just run really sluggishly. If you still have a problem after you've tried rebooting, then there is obviously a software or hardware issue, in which case you do need someone from IT to have a look at it. What doesn't help is when you say that you've restarted your computer already, when in actual fact you haven't, and will then spend hours trying to solve the problem and then in the end, restart it and they all magically fix themselves. It saves a lot of time just to restart properly before calling. And when I say restart or turn off and turn on again, I don't mean just closing the screen on your laptop or turning the monitor off. I mean actually going to start, shut down, restart. This causes the computer to do a full restart. With Windows 10, when you tell it to shut down, it often only shuts down part of the operating system so that it's faster to turn on in the future. Doing a full reboot clears all memory and loads it up from the beginning. The same can also be said with other devices such as routers, phones, TVs, radios, cameras and more. Just an extra note on the router. If you're having trouble with your internet and you restart your router, it's advisable to leave it 10 minutes before turning it back on again. Turn it off at the plug and leave it 10 minutes and turn it on again. This is because your ISP's equipment at the other end tries to hold that connection for up to 10 minutes. If you leave your router off for 10 minutes, it stops trying to recreate the connection and it will make a completely new connection when your router turns back on. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Please give me a like if you did and subscribe and hit the bell icon to hear about more videos in the future. If you've got any great ideas for videos for me to do, please do let me know in the comments below. I'm hoping to do one to two videos a week during the coronavirus outbreak because uh, I won't be working. Stay safe and remember to keep washing your hands.